hello everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome obviously you're very welcome and i'd love for you to be um here on this channel today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um we're gonna make a look with the passion in paris palette i let people vote on my instagram today and like the last part of yesterday what palette they'd love to see and this palette came out the highest sorry i'm cleaning a brush because i just did a look that was horrendous and normally like i don't do like super crazy looks but this time i was like you know i have time i have no place to go why not do a crazy look and um it was not the best so what we're gonna do is i really wanted to start over get a good look and uh see from there so i'm gonna go in with a primer first <laughs> wow um yeah a little bit of primer not too much so i just also like i had to take off my entire makeup like no that's not true i had to take off like everything around the eyes so also like a little bit like underneath the eyes and like on the sides of the face i just threw on some concealer and some blush and stuff so if it looks not a hundred percent even or like it looks a little bit odd that's probably why we're gonna do the other eye as well so we're just priming the eyelid my eyelid is not happy because i already this is already like the second time so now the third time and I'm putting eye makeup on, which my eyes don't really like that in winter. And then I also just put like reds and blues on, which are kind of harsh to take off. So, all right, let's get going. I'm going to start out by using the shade Champs-Élysées. Please don't come for me if my pronunciation for like French isn't the best because... I had five years of French in high school and I was not the best at it. I'm a little um, dyslectic, probably. They never tested, so I can't officially say that I am, but uh, a teacher that is specialized in it looked at me like a few months ago and my struggles and stuff like that, and she's like, pretty sure you are. So, uh, I've been struggling with that my entire life, so languages aren't really my thing. I'm fine with, like, English, and my mother language, Dutch, is... Is that mother language? Uh, is, um... I'm, I'm also quite okay at, but, like, French and German and Spanish is... <laughs> not my best, uh, thing. Like, I'm not the best at it. I really want to use that shade. I'm going to use the shade Tuluris? Tuluris? I have no clue. I have never heard of that, so I can't pronounce it. If I've heard it before, I can't pronounce it. Like, I know how to say it. But if I've never heard it before, I, I don't know. But it's like a greeny blue shade. It's like the only shade that's kind of leaning a little bit more green matte shade in a palette and I really wanted to use that because it looks very pretty and I was very curious if you could blend it out with itself because if there's only one green matte shade that's probably what you want to be doing I was like sitting very low wait let me sit up yep it's better so I am putting on that cream greenish blue shade and I'm blending that up like a little bit higher so that you can actually see the shade when I have my eyes open you know that's good that's a good uh blending itself shade so like I am curious if we can now build it up and make it a little bit darker in the crease and like a little bit lighter on the outer parts but so far, it has blended nicely. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that shade and really put it more towards the actual crease as far as that I'm able to do with this ginormo brush. I don't know why I even I'm trying to use this brush, but you know, so I'm just like blending that in a bit. Why is this brush wet? So I'm blending that out and up and like in a bit, like to get a little bit more definition. And now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the, a little bit on the eye as well. Now really get into the lash line as well. Yes, that's nice. Do the same thing on the other eye. Okay. Okay, okay, and now I do know which shimmer I really want to use. It's the City of Lights shimmer. It's like a nice, like, gray, like, gunmetal shade with maybe a green undertone. I'm not sure yet, and I'm just going to put that in the inner half. So that's where I'm going to prime in the inner half. So I'm just going to pat that on. So it's out there a little bit. So it's sort of blended. And then I'm going to take my matte brush again. Sure that my fingers are clean and I'm gonna blend that gray shimmer like blend the greenish shade over a bit until about halfway on the eye and then I'm gonna blend that out the edges out a bit because I have a little bit of like an evenness there now back like that Okay, and because I do want to show you uh, the different colors in this palette a little bit, I think I'm going to do something on the lower lash line and then in the inner corner. So for the inner corner, I think I want to use like that very light, beautiful, like soft shade. So let me find a brush for that. So I'm going to take the shade Louvre. Know if it's picking up and I'm gonna put that in the orange corner oh it is it is picking up it's like I thought it was gonna be a white with like a pink shift but it's more of a like icy white blue shift I really like it it's a very pretty shift And then on the lower lash line, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Again, not being prepared. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I think I'm, I think I want to play with the red. Or is that too much? Maybe the bright blue or the purple. Or the red. I'm going to take the shade Grand, Grand Palace. Pal Palace? Grand Palace. No. How is that how is that pronounced in French? Let me think. Oh man. I don't know. But I'm putting the red under. So you might be able to tell. And I think what I want to do. I 
you know, putting a red under is kind of dangerous because it can make you look like very sick and like half alive. And and then half that, head, half dead, you know, because like when you're half alive, you're also half dead. So I'm going to take the brightest shade and kind of like put the brightest shade more towards the outer. And then I'm going to take the shimmer red. I'm going to tap that off so it's not like all over my face. And I'm going to put that shimmer red. Right there in the inner corner. So like the shimmer and glow kind of have its moment there. And then we're going to take that brush that I just used and take a little bit of that Louvre Lachey and put it like over there as well because then we're evened out both eyes have that okay so now it looks like a little much i agree so i'm gonna take that dark green shade again that we used like on the entire like eye and i'm gonna take a little liner brush and i'm gonna line the eyes with that green shade called well that that weird name i'm gonna show you in a second and we're going to line the top lash with that to give it a little bit more of that contrast and like make sure it's a little bit more evened out and balanced out with like the under eye. That's nice. That is nice. It's still looking a little weird, I agree, but I think when we're going to put on Mascara, it's all going to like even out. Okay, we need a little bit more on this side to kind of like give it a darkness that it has here. I feel like it's a little bit more dark there on that side, this side, especially right here. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, and then I dropped the brush. It's really my, my day today. <laughs> Not like I am having one of those days where you just feel weird. And then everything goes wrong as well. That, that kind of day. Okay, but let's not touch my face too much anymore because it'll just go wrong. I'm going to take my mascara. It looks more green, I think, on screen than it does in real life. In real life, it's more of a like, like old blue kind of shade. You know, those like old homes with the blue cabinets in the kitchen we used to have those colored cabinets like that like washed out tealy kind of bluish grayish kind of hint of green but like on camera i feel like it's much more like bright and here it's much more well it's also bright but like not as colorful more gray leaning then I feel like it comes across not much, but just a tiny teensy bit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we need a little bit more right there. So, mm -hmm. okay, are we finished, are we? I need to put on my blush a little bit higher because it got washed away when I tried to apply my uh, my concealer. Well, let's talk about this look. Is it a little much? Yes, it is. Do I love makeup that's a little much? Yes, I do. I do love it and it applied really nicely. The first look was a complete dud, but that was also completely my um, mistake. I was like, 
doing weird things. Um, I was trying to be a little bit inventive, which I'm not, and that's fine. But then on days where you're like not really feeling yourself, it's maybe not the best choice. And this is much more up my alley, the look I did. Yes, I'm drinking tea and coffee. I just need my hydration, which I know don't start on me with coffee and hydration. But let's talk about this palette. I do actually really enjoy the look that I made. And looking at the palette, you could be... Wait, I don't want it to get dirty already. You could get a neutral look out of this if you really wanted to. You could use this, because this is actually purpley leaning, see that? So you could use these two and then that, and that's your neutral look. So if you buy this palette, you're probably not going to be like in a, a typical neutral lover and being like, I want to make a neutral look with this palette, because if that's your idea, you might, I don't think this is the palette you'd go for, because in this BH Cosmetics, did I tell you that I was, you can read it in the title. Um. This BH Cosmetics um, travel series has a lot of palettes that are much more neutral than this one. So if you chose this one, you're probably into colors and a little bit of a darker color because like this entire, like if you switch, switch these two around, this entire two rows are dark shades, darker shades. So today I use this and then this. I use this a lot, like ov overall and like in... You saw me use it, and then this shimmer in the inner corner, and then I used the dark red and then the lighter red to pop it and make a little bit of inner corner shade with the darker red. Oh, and I used, wow, almost dropped it, that shade right there in the inner corner. So what do I think of this palette? I think it's a gorgeous palette. I think you can really make super exciting, nice, loving, love, 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 lovely looks with it. I do think it's a little dark, so if you, like, I'm fair skin, but I like a good dark eyeshadow. I noticed, like, going into winter, I love a good dark brown and a dark teal and, like, dark shades. So if you like that, this is a palette for you. If you like colors, especially if you like the blues and the dark reds and, like, those kind of shades. But if you look at this color story and you're like, that's not me at all, this is what you're getting. So it's not, like... Oh, they pull a little bit more neutral. They don't. So if you like a color story like this, I'd definitely, definitely recommend it. I really liked working with the formula. Everything blended out beautifully. As you can see, this green shade, or like as a green, it blends into itself. So that's wonderful. The shades also really match nicely, even though you might not think that looking at this palette and the shimmers. I only used one shimmer just, or two shimmers in this look, but... I just touched the other shimmers and they're gorgeous as well. So I really like the quality of this palette. I personally really like the color story. I like the shades and the shade names and all of that. Um, so would I recommend this palette? Definitely. But only, again, like this is the whole story with all of these palettes, obviously. But some of the color stories I would say like are like getting into. This is not getting into color. If you if you want a good, colorful, darker, beautiful, Paris-inspired, um, more grungy color story, this is for you. But if you're like, oh, I want to tiptoe into color, not the palette for, for that. But if you love a good, colorful look, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. I love this look. I could see myself, rec I could see myself recreating this look, and I could also see myself creating a lot of other beautiful looks with this palette, with like the, like the bottom row, and then this with the dark blue, and I could see myself reaching for this palette a lot, a lot. So I'm very happy that I get I got this. Is this the most versatile palette I've ever had? No. But is it a very good palette for what it's intended for? Yes, 100% yes. So that's where we're going to leave it at. If you want to, please go and check out my Instagram to vote for tomorrow's palettes. At the time this video is up, I think the poll will already be up. So you can vote for what you want to see videos on tomorrow. And that's it for today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and hanging out with me through this whole mess of uh, trying it twice. And 
don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell comment and like this video and comment on and like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye